First, because of an issue which happened last week, where an inspector of police in charge of OC crime, Ndori, was murdered through mob justice. We want to condemn the act with strongest terms possible that is uncalled for. And it should not happen again. But I want to thank the swiftness of the police to do the arrest that same night and recover the lost uh, pistol which was recovered on the same night. The issue is now coming up and why we had to talk about it is that the police had already done an arrest and a number of youths who are suspected to have participated in this crime were already arrested and are in police custody. The situation which is now alarming and which has made me to receive many calls from my members of the community is the kind of intimidation, fear, torture, which has been done to people who never even participated in this act. My area has become a hotbed where our people are now like in a curfew zoned area. Our youths who are doing their daily routine work using border border just to feed their families are unable to move past 7 p.m. because they have been told that if they are met in any road, they will be in for it. And these are people who have families to take care of. Our markets, Kamito, Nilima, Oyude, Ndarokago, Andori, the women, because of fear of what they would meet on their way home, are closing their soaps by 7 p.m. Because the police has been moving around, beating people for no apparent reason. We agree. It pains them because one of them died. But again, if they had made the arrest, then I think they would allow our people to live peacefully and do their businesses. Because if a woman who fends for her family cannot go to the market to sell the vegetables he does each and every evening, then we are not protecting our people. One, I would request the in charge of security in Rarieda that a lot need to be done. If security of our people were given priority, the such kind of incident which happened in Oyude would have not happened. Oyude has had a number of insecurity cases. You remember a woman was robbed there from an m shop at around 7.30 p.m. when she was closing her shop. Nobody has been arrested. You remember two security guards from this same market were murdered in cold blood with some indications of some people who might have participated in this. After their burial, no harass has ever happened. No justice to their families. But now, we agree. Our people are now living in fear. We don't know who is who. But we request the, the police department and the security team in Rarieda that now that they already arrested the youths and they have taken them, some to court, they have prepared charges to them. I think they have done, they have reached the limit of what they wanted to gather. Now I'm just requesting as the member of county assembly, whose people are now unable to move, that we allow normalcy to return. Allow our women to access markets as they used to do. Allow our youth, the border border guys, from the other border border stages who never participated in this, to operate normally as they used to. So that would be 
my request to the police department. We mourn with them for the loss of a good friend of mine, Inspector Kariuki Simon, a very jovial man who should have not died in such kind of a situation. But now it is done. There is nothing we can do about it. The arrest had been made. Let's allow normalcy, peace, and freedom of movement to continue.